State College, Pennsylvania. Sean, good to have you on the show, man. Hey, thank you guys uh, for making it work bright and early. So sorry to get you out of bed so early, you know. We're here for you, brother. Anything for you. We are here Anything for you. Anything for you, boo-boo. It's not, it's not a problem. <laughs> boo-boo, I love it. There we go. There we go. Hey, first and foremost, congratulations on getting back to the uh, national championship. BYU looking for their first title in 12 years. How much sleep did you get last night after winning the semifinal matchup against Long Beach State? Yeah, I, I I kind of figure out when uh, last night ended and today started. So we're still, uh, <laughs> the, the sun's while well, the sun's trying to come out here in uh, Penn State, but uh, it's a new day, so it's exciting for sure. Life of a coach, right there. You know, uh, sleep later and and win now. Uh, coach, what was the the best thing that you saw from your team last night in a four set win? Yeah, um, you know, we started uh, just you know trying to things out a bit and so I was impressed with the guys that they stayed composed um, we knew Long Beach State I mean that's one of the teams that has actually beaten us this season uh, with, with the great season that the, that the boys have put together so I was really pleased with you know they kind of stayed the course uh, some of the guys didn't put up their normal numbers but in that you know they stayed real focused uh, didn't get lost in that and and why things weren't working out as they had and uh as the match went on, those same guys made some really, really uh, big plays and had some big moments down the stretch for us, for sure. Including Brendan Sander, who had 14 kills and zero hitting errors. I think his hitting percentage was 583. What got into Brendan, your sophomore star, last night? No, I, you know, Brendan's been doing that. Uh, he really has. You know, I, I mean, a zero hitting error performance is is in and of itself uh, something you rarely see, especially from an outside hitter. But we played uh, UCLA, I think, in one of our big matches down on the road, uh, you know, three, four weeks ago. And I think he had one hitting error in, in similar amount of attempts. And so, you know, he's been doing that. And, and I'm not, we're not surprised anymore. And so there was a moment when we just said, just keep setting him, you know, just keep setting Brendan because he had that, uh, he, he competes. He kind of had that look, and he went back to the service line and got us going. And so uh, just so happy for him. He's, he's been putting in that work all year. So we, we are surprised, and uh, he was one of the guys that uh, definitely, definitely carried us through some times when uh, it was a little harder to, to find plays and, and find those skills. So he did such a great job. Coach, one thing that I love the most about playing here at BYU was the – uh, opportunity to play on the road, uh, just so much uh, love and support that you got from just the the LDS community uh, coming out. Sometimes it even felt like it was a home game, you know, when you played oh, some yeah. of the smaller schools. Uh, what kind of crowd did did you guys have uh, at the rec center at Penn State last night? Oh, I mean, we had a, an unbelievable BYU section, and that's as you said, Brian. You know, you've done that, you've been a part of it, and until until you get to really experience it, you don't understand what people are always saying about the, you know, Cougar Nation. And so it's, uh, it goes without saying you've always got to give those, uh, that group and, and these fans just all the credit in the world because they come out. And so uh, playing Ohio State, they're, gonna, they're close. I think you can actually drive if you want to. And uh, so for our fans to come out, uh, it, it's great. And I, I expect Ohio State to have a good – they had a good crowd last night. And so – uh, playing for the national championship. I'm sure more Cougar Blue will be uh, showing up and uh, some Ohio State colors as well, so it's going to be exciting. BYU head volleyball coach Sean Olmstead with us on BYU Sports Nation. His team will play for a national title tomorrow night against Ohio State University. Watch it on ESPN2. Listen to it on BYU Radio at 8 Eastern. Coach, I know how much you love to talk about yourself <laughs> as you shudder in Pennsylvania <laughs> right now, but, hey, your, your accomplishments – we're our stat of the day as you have taken your teams to the national championship in each of your last two years of coaching. What did you learn from the BYU women's team that went to the national championship in 2014 that can help you tomorrow night against Ohio State? Yeah, um, similar to what I just mentioned. You know, just be composed. Uh, you know, it's, it's the next match. You know, you don't want to – the cliche is, hey, it's another match, it's another game. But in reality, you know, this is a national championship. But uh, we've our prep and everything is uh, going to be the same with the guys. Uh, and, and we kind of coach them and push them to, uh, to do the same. And 
as we progress through the season, it's you've got to look at it that way. Hey, here's another opportunity for us to get better. And uh, we look at it that way. We can, we can keep getting better. We can keep improving. And that's, that's all you're trying to do when you're coaching. And uh, we, we push these guys to have that same goal in mind as they're playing. Coach, what will your team have to do well to win against Ohio State? You know, they're going to they're gonna be really aggressive from the service line. They, uh, they, they really get after it from there. And so uh, volleyball is going to come down to that, who can serve tough and serve it in and put pressure on their opponents. And so we need to be able to match that. We've got to be able to do that. Uh, we were successful there last night, had uh, real nice serving percentages, numbers, and, uh, and our passing uh, was where it needed to be. So if we can get a little better there, uh, receiving serve against a very aggressive team, uh, I like uh, what our hitters can do when we can stay, kind of keep our team in system and, and keep uh, keep rolling that way. Sean Olmstead with us on BYU Sports Nation. Coach, obviously the national championship is the match of the year, the biggest match of the year for both BYU and Ohio State. You've been there before as a player and as a coach on the women's side. How do you step back and kind of be like, hey, this is pretty cool, and, and enjoy the moment and help your team do that so that they don't get lost and – in uh, kind of the moment of, holy cow, this is really, really important. Yeah, I kind of look at it like you're going to get a chance to do that when it's all said and done. So you got to, uh, you know, look around, say thanks to the fans uh, just by playing your heart out. And uh, then then there's going to come a time when you can really look back and go, wow, this is uh, uh, that's crazy and that's exciting. But hopefully we can literally stay in the moment of the match Stay in the moment of uh, little by little, every single uh, rally, every single point, and just kind of stay in that. And I always look at it as that time to reflect and to, you know, think about the uh, accomplishments and all that. That's 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 later. That's down the road. And uh, right now, we want to be focused on every single rally that's uh, presented. Coach, I have a, a very very soft spot in my heart for. All of the unsung heroes that that uh, <laughs> that play on every uh, sports team. You know, you you have the your big name guys, the guys that get all of the glory, the fame, the ladies, <laughs> all the above. <laughs> but who are some of the 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 guys on your team that uh, these these fans should watch for and look out for uh, for Saturday's uh, matchup? Yeah, I uh, I appreciate you saying that and seeing it from that perspective because I I've been saying now for a while that all, all these accomplishments and the team awards or the individual awards or however you want to look at it that's that's com- always always a team thing you know if we can't pass we can't set we can't hit and so there's all those guys that play a huge role and you're right you know some some of the guys uh, stand out amongst the fans kind of the fan favorites or however you want to look at it. But in reality, I think those guys that when you're in practice and you put your quote-unquote starting group out there, you know, the really the unsung heroes are the guys that are battling against them on the other side to help those guys get better in every single practice session. So they're, they're the guys that line up you if you're a receiver, the defensive backs that maybe aren't playing, but they're going to hit you in practice. They're going to do all they can to help you improve. And that's always been my approach and always been – kind of the speech I give these guys is whenever there's been a, an award, an All-American this or that or All-Conference, uh, I've immediately kind of pointed the other direction to those guys that prepare them every single day in practice because in reality, that's where they're making those improvements to be able to play at that level when a match comes around. Talking with the head volleyball coach, Sean Olmstead on BYU Sports Nation as his team prepares for the national championship tomorrow night. I know you're going to be super humble about this, so I'll just say this because I can. I've got an issue with the ABCA not awarding you Coach of the Year, Sean. So we have officially <laughs> named you the BYU Sports Nation Coach of the Year, and as a show of our appreciation, we will return your MPSF championship trophy to you uh, to, to make that official. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you have it because I haven't even thought about where it is. So it's we, good. To, it's good to know that it's somewhere. But no, I. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. But hey, uh, yeah. In reality, I've never once thought about that. Never once kind of waited for the, the 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 press release or the the vote here or there. I mean, it's about these boys and it's about this team. And 
I'm, I tell these guys before every single match, you know, thank them for letting me be a part of, uh, of this ride and letting me be a part of their career. And, uh, I hope that I can always do my best for them. And that's what it's about. And, and my staff as well. So if you're going to give me that award or name me, uh, that award, then you have to look back to the guys. You've got to look at my coaches because, uh, without them, you know, nothing's getting done for sure. Coach, uh, that was that was beautiful. Um, you had to say that, of, of course. Uh, we, I understand. I've been through media training as well. So, uh, great answer. Uh, and you'll probably say the same thing with this answer, uh, with this question. But uh, this has to add some fuel to the fire. I mean, we all understand as as uh, as uh, athletes, and, and we're very competitive. We don't need anything to motivate us. I mean, not money, anything, right? Uh, we just want to go out and we want to play to the best of our abilities. But to look across and, and, and see your opponent, that they have the National Player of the Year, that they have the Coach of the Year, and you guys are playing them in a national championship, I mean, this is for all the marbles. You have to have to deep down in your heart think, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to kill, <laughs> going to kill them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I've, I've honestly never had the media train. You guys, the football gets all that stuff. We don't get, you know, they they don't train us in the media. Maybe I, I get in trouble half the time with what I say. <laughs> I say it. But, uh, no, I, I, another thing that I say before every match is you've got to compete your heart out. I mean, you got we all got into athletics, every single one of us, whatever sport we started with whether it's baseball or geez, gymnastics or tennis or, or volleyball, you get into it because in the end you get to compete with somebody on the other side of you, you know, across from you. And uh, that's what you got into it for when you were at a young age. And so these are the moments and things that you've worked to uh, towards, whether or not you want to, you know, look at it that way, you just got to compete. That's what this is all about. And that's what I love. And that's what, athletics is about so I, I urge these guys in every single moment to compete whether it's practice whether it's in the weight room whether it's doing running lines you know compete that's what this that's what life's about and if you don't learn how to compete you're going to get run over you know you got to compete for jobs you got to compete for girls you got to come i mean all these things <laughs> and uh so you better learn uh, how to compete at your best uh, in everything there's no question that BYU carries national prestige in the BYU men's vo or the men's volleyball program at the NCAA level, three national championships, but it's been 12 years since you won a national championship. You were a member of the last team to win one, Sean. So what would a win tomorrow night against Ohio State mean for, I guess, the overall status of this BYU volleyball program? Yeah, you know, again, it's, uh, it's another match, it's another opportunity, but, uh, you know, it's it's kind of validation, but, but again, these guys don't need that. They've accomplished so, so much. And so this is uh, just a great opportunity for them to kind of write their story. I tell them that all the time. It's their story. It's their time. And, you know, let's make sure uh, the final chapter uh, keeps us all captivated and uh, in tune. We've saved the best for last. Do you have a special outfit picked out for tomorrow night's game? <laughs> I don't. I mean, whatever my wife lays out on the bed before the match gets going, I, just, I, just, I, I don't think twice about it. So she'll have something for me, and uh, I'll get dressed and ready to go when that uh, when the time comes. Great stuff, man. man. Hey, before you get off the phone, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the national championship match. Oh, Thank answer, you. Sir. Thank you. Where, where were you? This camera. This Brian's camera, got his camera. hand up, uh, like trying to touch the TV screen so we can transfer it through yeah, we, to you. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I, you're not here physically, so I can't touch you. But <laughs> we, I, I put my hand up. I got the, I got the. Appreciate the, it. Going we'll, that I'll area. give you some love. We'll get, we'll, we'll touch a lot when I get back. That? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Sounds good, Coach. Good luck. Thanks for the time. Uh, thanks for having me, always, guys. Thank you. Sean Olmsted on the Deseret First.